Hey guys, Kuro Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're here with a new movie reaction. This is Top Gun Maverick. Oh. Uh, yeah. I yes. thought this was about cards. It's not. It's about Tom Cruise and his ego. Right what? up your alley. I don't think that's what it's about. Right okay. up your ass. <laughs> I think it's no. about flying planes. It's a sequel to a movie that I just recently watched. Uh, and you can find that reaction right here on YouTube as well. I had a great time. With its limited soundtrack, its tongue scene that affected me greatly. I don't understand what's your problem with that. And one of the best movie relationships I've ever seen. Have you guys ever looked with like tension? A girl's chin? Oh yeah, I have. Just not like yeah, a creep right? in front of millions. You know how much they hate. We mean in front of millions. There was no one else in that bedroom. He, two people. They filmed that. No one. People are gonna watch this and no, think it's weird. It was to be an and intimate setting, and you watched it like a pervert. I did. See, and you're I the felt problem. Gross because of him. You're what the problem. No, it's it's like when someone makes you see something that you didn't want to see. Yeah. Mm, like like they send you an unwanted dick pic. Or, or like you watching a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. In front of <laughs> millions that are watching. <laughs> or like when you made me watch a needle thing with Rick's fucking knee. Oh, follow us on TikTok for all the great huh? stuff. Huh? Uh, so huh? we're going to be checking out this movie, going right into it. Uh, there is a full-length version of this reaction that you can check out in the pinned comment and uh, the description. But none of us have seen this movie, I believe, right? Nope. I have not. Let's do it. Top Gun. Oh, you don't know that yet. I, well, I kind of do. Could be anything. Oh, ah! yes! You have seen this. The Wall Flyer. Teller. Interesting. Uh, John Hands in this? Yeah! I like this a bit more. It is! Harris! Holy shit! Aw, oh, Nicholas Cage, come on! Val Kilmer! Oh, dude, I didn't think he was in this. I need Nicholas Cage. Man, this is spoiling so much. I shouldn't have I was doing my best I'm to just so not excited. look at it. You guys are just like, Val Kilmer's in this! I'm sorry. <laughs> you were looking. You would have seen it. I was I was doing my best to not. It's right there, giant letters. <laughs> you can't just miss it. You're screaming at me. Yeah, yeah. You can't miss it. This, you is can't? Why, this is why I don't watch intro. song doesn't play for at least 60% of the movie, it's a mistake. Just like the, the right choice to start with. It's like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, the, color, yeah. the color is great too. Hook will catch the wire. Where's Baby Goose? That's the only thing I want. Baby Goose. There he is. I'll be back. I know it. Baby Goose. <laughs> Mach 9. Whoa, Ooh. look at that. Well, that's a Mach 9 thing. <laughs> he wants our budget for his unmanned program. Oh. He's on his way to kill the test and shut us down personally. Is that what it's going to be about? Is man versus unmanned? Yeah. Maybe. Well, I think that's what the. Like the first trailer was about, right? I don't remember. It's like you can't match a, a human pilot's intuition, right? <laughs> uh, that sounds like ten. the movie Stealth. Let's, Let's do ten. it. That was like a simple idea. Sure. <clears throat> Towers is dark star. We're ready for takeoff. Requesting on other stretch of climbs. There's the <laughs> admiral. The runway and skies are yours. He's gonna buzz him. Rear Admiral Chester Cage. Oh, of course, it's Admiral Cage. That makes so much sense. And that's a man that demands it's not too late to stop, respect. I've right? been so excited. I've been Do it. What happens to you this? I know what happens to everyone else if I don't. <laughs> Dark Stars ready for takeoff. Everyone, go for takeoff. Starting with engine. Engine, go. Thermals, go. Fuel, go. Electric, go. Control surfaces, go. Dark star, control. As long as nothing happens when there's an issue, then they have to shut it down for the flight. Right. One last ride. Jeez. Was that line not in the trailer? It seemed made for it. I think it was. Beautiful. Look at that. Maybe it's just voiceover, though. He's going right over top of him. <laughs> wow. Jeez. What a shot. <laughs> Their set broke. <laughs> <laughs> That hair just stood there. Mav, 
Colonel Kane is asking for the orderings that we bring her down. Alpha <laughs> Passing Occupy point four and <laughs> this is where we've had trouble with comms, sir. Huh? It's the Earth's curvature. It's called Earth Bulge. Did anyone offer you a coffee? <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, turbine engines can only intake air so much, then they yeah. start like slowing down the intake. Lock nine. Hold together. He's the fastest man alive. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Like, you wouldn't do that at that speed. <laughs> you would black out instantly. <laughs> Motherfucker, he's Maverick. He's so old. He's the best. What are you? Nothing. What mock have you got? None. I mocked you. <laughs> Aww. Good shit. Close to heaven he's ever been. Oh shit. Goose. Sit on the throne. Programmer forgot to make it have two digits, so it never gets there. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Just remove the decimal point. Right? High hypersonic. Hypersonic. High hypersonic. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, it's like fucking mob psycho. Get up there. Nine. Before it breaks, just hit it and then slow down. That's all you gotta do. Damn it, Goose, bless him! Slow down, slow down. You see this, Admiral? The bulge! <laughs> Sir! Sir! Oh, man. Alright. So, slowing this thing down. You're gonna go Don't faster. Go faster. Don't. You're gonna break it. Don't. You're gonna lose you the needed. funding. Hey, have you seen that first movie, That Man? God damn it! Goes Just a little Just more. A little bit. Don't do this. <laughs> Fuck. You got some balls, stick jockey. I'll give you that. He's going for 11. No. I think he's just trying to see what he pushes. Oh, shit. Slow it down, slow it down. Man, that's a lot of lights. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. What? It broke that? Shit. It broke their screen. I th uh, whatever yeah, happened. Just, all the telemetry stopped. Whatever happened, the connection it had with it is gone. So there's nothing to read back with. Wow. Yeah, it broke their screen, Eric. 10-4. Good buddy. Damn, man. Why didn't he slow down? Is he dead? No. What if he died He's in just there? walking back. You know? <laughs> You're like, holy oh, shit. I would... Those shots were... I think it would be realistic. He'd probably eject it somehow. At Mach 10? Well, I mean, it probably knocks the whole cockpit out in some way or fashion or something, you know? I don't know. You would have to. Yeah, it's not just like you shoot him out and you get a parachute. <laughs> you know? But just tumbling at that speed. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have burns on his face? I haven't shot. I don't know what <laughs> happened. Asking <Jesus. laughs> questions. We weren't there. I don't know. Where am I? What year is it? <laughs> oh, pretty good. I like that kid. Good job, kid. Man, how much money they lose with losing that plane? Oh yeah. You know, billion dollars. No, he, yeah, he at, at least millions, if not a billion. You tens, know? tens of hundreds. You've been called back to Top Gun, sir. You are dismissed. Captain. Stand down, Captain. <laughs> Man, I don't need to watch the rock. The end is inevitable, Maverick. Yeah. You're kind of headed for extinction. You're so young back then, too. Maybe so, sir. But not today. <laughs> See? In, in that movie, though, in The Rock, Ed Harris is fighting for the veterans that have been forgotten. Mm -hmm. Here, he's fighting to forget for the veterans, <laughs> the pilots, you know? He wants not to make to it so there them, are no just... more veterans. Yeah. That's, That's not... not a bad thing. He flew there. It's just Skynet. Yeah, I don't know. He when they get there. hacked and someone just takes up all our ships. This is exactly what happened in the first movie. It is. Na, 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 na. Just with better shots. He looks the same. <laughs> no, he, he looks a lot look older. Same. Oh come on! 
<laughs> I mean, he looks, looks 50 years older. Yeah, and he mean? looks like he's 38. <laughs> no, he's he doesn't. Good tan. No, he doesn't. I'm not saying he doesn't look good for his age. Fucking haters. I'm not saying he doesn't look good for his age. I'm just saying he doesn't look like he's 30. Oh. Look at that that round-faced kid there. Now look at that. It's not the same, man. He's a good-looking man for his Oh! Commander, huh? <laughs> Iceman, yes. Nice. That is one hell of a steep climb out of there. But you survived that. It's a dogfight all the way home. All requirements for what you have real-world experience. Not the same mission, sir. <laughs> not all at the same time. Yeah. I'm not sure who I trust to fly the other three. I'll find a way to make it work. I think you misunderstand, Captain. They don't want you to go, sir. Yeah. <laughs> You're a trainer. You we want you to teach us. Teach? This is an Armageddon situation. Those who can't. We call 12 top Ooh. graduates from their squadrons. We want you to be the goose. Down to six. They'll fly the mission. Rooster. Is there a problem, Captain? He's a different bird. Mm hmm. You fly for Top Gun. Or you don't fly for the Navy ever again. The kid that plays Rooster looks familiar. I keep trying to place him. That didn't go well. He just calls him ice in his phone. Sure. <laughs> it's a good way to work around Val Comer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not giving you any luck, I swear. It always ends the same with us, Pete. Let's not start this time. Okay. Okay. He's so, so much more subtle now. <laughs> you look good. You're just gonna jump up to him going like, let's I mean, dance! Kick <laughs> in the door scene? of the woman's bathroom like he did last time. <laughs> He brought them all around. Yep. yep. What am I missing? Disrespect the lady, the Navy, or put your cell phone on my block. Uh, For everyone? I'm afraid rules are rules. You're lucky it's early. Yes. Everyone oh, gets juice. That's a cool, cool table. What yeah. do we have here? Jeez. If it ain't Phoenix. Yeah, here I thought we were special, Coyote. Who's this good looking boy? Turns out, you can invite one to anyone. Everyone in the Navy's good looking. Look Tell at this. This here's Bagman. Hangman. Bagman. Oh, whatever. Hangman. You're looking at the only naval aviator on active duty with a confirmed air to air kill. Stop. Mind you. He looks like Littlefinger's son. Yeah. <laughs> what do they call you? Bob? Bob? No, your call sign. Bob. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's Baby Goose. <laughs> Hangman, you look good. Well, I am good, Rooster. I'm very good. Did he make Fact. it? I don't think he hit shit. <laughs> I think he just looked cool for the take. So, He's a new Iceman, isn't he? You might know what this uh, special detachment is all about. Now, mission's mission. His tips aren't frosted enough, but I like it. Who the hell are they going to get to teach us? <laughs> It's been declined. <laughs> 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 you pull the jukebox? I'll come by tomorrow and bring you the cash. I'm afraid. Rules are rules, Pete. It's evening rush! <laughs> He's going deeper in debt. This flirting ain't worth it. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know? I don't got the money for this. Oh, because he couldn't pay, there was a punishment. Yep. He was punished for what he did, and now he must be punished more. He's gonna beat the show. She rigged this. She was expecting this. She might have just declined the card because... Sure. Nah, it didn't work. Sand is not soft when you fall on it. Just threw him out of the bar. Okay. Yep. He's gonna ride those kids so hard <laughs> training. <laughs> just <laughs> threw your teacher out of yeah. the bar. <laughs> I want to see this. Mm-hmm. 
Brewster would have been on top of the piano in the first movie, right? He's singing up there too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got his chin. I know they're not related, really, but I see it. Feel bad now? Throwing him out? Mm-hmm. Hey, you guys remember me? You fox? <laughs> right? <laughs> More blood. <laughs> He's considered to be one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. <laughs> it's, it really mirrors Top Gun whenever he like flirted with the one girl and she was there to evaluate. Yep. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Poor stand out of his boot a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I think he blames him. You gonna wash me out? That'll be up to you, not me. Am I dismissed? They don't know the history, huh? No. We do not go below the hard deck of 5,000 feet. Wow. Working as a team, you have to shoot me down or else. Or else what, sir? Or else I shoot back. If I shoot either one of you down, you both lose. This guy needs an ego check. We'll see that. So he really does. Yeah, good luck. Well, we'll get shot down first after do 200 push ups. <laughs> Guys, that's a lot of push ups. <laughs> well, uh, they don't call it an exercise for nothing, sir. You got yourself a deal, Joe. Lights so cool. on. Let's turn it burn. Damn boy, you see him? He'll be on the radar up ahead. He must be somewhere behind us. We don't run below 5,000. Oh! It's a cheat! It was like whenever he was fighting Joker, right? Hey man, where's your wingman? Dude, those cockpit shots you. are amazing. Hang in there, hang in there. Hurry up, man, hurry up! <laughs> yeah, you can see the, the air cavitation above yeah. the wing. It's so great. Listen, you're too low! Pull up, you're hitting the hard deck! Stop it, stop it! Oh, damn, he's way below, way below. <laughs> and now you know a little something about Rooster. He went in there and saved him. Yep. He won't let his men lead to death, right? That was the thing that hanged That's a kill. Smoked. It was all funny games to that self, you wouldn't it? Bob stands for something other than Robert. I mean, don't take the bait, Bob. Want to know why we call him Hangman? Alright, I got it. Baby on board. <laughs> oh, speed. Greetings, aviators. Fight time. Oh, yeah, because you have opposing speeds of like 600 miles an hour. <laughs> Where's he going? That's why we call him Hangman. He'll always hang you out to dry. Leaving your wingman. There's a strategy I haven't seen in a while. If he called you a man, Phoenix, you gonna take that? So long as he doesn't call you a man. <laughs> in the sun, not the experience. Lose him in the sun. Phoenix, I can't see him. How close am I? Phoenix! I'm dead, dickhead. See you in the afterlife, bag man. <laughs> where is he? Where is he? Right That's behind you, you there. <laughs> Lost Sit him in the down. sun. You spent the whole day killing kids. <laughs> Say, Rooster, mind if I ask you a personal question? Would it matter if I did? So what's the story with you and Maverick? I like his it hanging. Seems like he's got you a little rattled. It's none of your business. Now, where the hell is he? Been here the whole time. <laughs> what the fucking ghost? Oh, oh my. my. <laughs> you see me now? <laughs> Come on, let's get it over with. Fight on! Oh, oh shit! Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> They're both. Look just... at this. <laughs> they have Blue Angels pilots or something. Two oh man, that's awesome. Altitude. 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 
Oh, who's, who's more first? who's more stubborn? He went up. He went up first. And then he's right behind him to shoot him. Yeah, you got it. Don't sink. Just do. Don't sink. Just do it. Drop down and take the shot. It's too low. Too late. You had your chance. Motherfucker just drifted us in the air. That's a kill. Dodge enough. Damn it. You pulled my papers. What? Who? Maverick. You pulled my application and they were Yep, yeah, that's why he talked about the washing out. Set me back four years. Mm. You're trying to stop him from doing it. The parameters of this mission call for something they have never encountered. Okay, something you have less than three weeks to teach them how to fight as a team. And how to strike the target. <clears throat> and how to come home. Yeah, that's to, an important come home, sir. component of this mission. <laughs> yeah. Survivability. That's why they do. Has its risks. That's Damn why they it, Ham. Drones. Every morning from this day forward, you will brief us on your instructional plans in writing. <laughs> Nothing will change without my express approval. Including the hard deck, sir? Especially the hard deck, Captain. Sir, resignation. What is this? It's a request to lower the hard deck, sir. <laughs> practice a low-level bombing run per the mission parameters. <laughs> I feel like I'm <laughs> trying not to laugh. <laughs> I've learned a thing or two about timing, Captain. Yo, Coyote. He did what he wanted. Why are we taking her to the yard? To fix the engine. I can help. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Just <laughs> Whoa. look at that sail. I really thought about how much sailboats must be better now. <laughs> Everybody just uses. <laughs> Have you seen the uh, like the sailing Olympics and stuff? No. Those Those things are, are fucking insane, dude. All carbon fiber. Yeah. Like, that, it's a catamaran style, so there's like bars between two canoes, basically. They'll have that thing up in the air like this. Yeah, he really helped fix her engine. I don't think he was fixing engines, I think he was just on boats. But they were designed to protect the skies of Death Star Trench. Yep, yep. Beggar's Canyon. <laughs> it's like a video game level. It was insane enough to try and fly below them. That's why we gotta lower the hard deck. That's exactly what I'm gonna train you to do. On the day, your altitude will be 100 feet. Maximum. Maximum! Maximum. This altitude, radar will spot you. You're dead. You just stay below 100 feet? Your airspeed will be 660 knots. <clears throat> hey man, he's up. The canyon's getting tighter. Negative payback. Increase your speed. You're going too fast, man. Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. There is. I think it's the most important thing. Damn it, slow down. I can't stay on the course. Not if you get oh, it. You're gonna hit the wall. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, shit. What happened? Well, I flew as fast as I could. Kind of like my ass depended on it. And you put your team in danger and your wingman's dead. They couldn't keep up. He's a very solo kind of flyer. <laughs> yep. We are not going to make it. Just trust me. Maintain your speed. We can make it. Why are you dead? <laughs> we didn't, we didn't Your team leader up there. We made it to the target. And superior enemy aircraft intercepted you on your way out. Then it's a dogfight. Against fifth generation fighters. Yeah, we still have a chance. In an F-18. It's not the plane, sir. It's the pilot. Exactly. Two of you can't even beat him. Right? In in the same ship. In the same generation. There's more than one way to fly this mission. You really don't get it. On this mission, a man flies like Maverick here, or a man does not come back. No offense intended. Yet somehow, you always manage. <laughs> I like Bob. I can't be the only one that knows that Maverick flew with his old that's man. That's enough. Or that Maverick was flying with his old man. Lieutenant, that's enough. Yeah, there we go. That's enough. You son of a bitch. Come on. I'm cool. I'm cool. Hey, 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 hey. He's not cut out for this mission. It's enough. He's out of line, but he's kind of right. I need to see you. Ah. Do we? 
I don't think so. Ah, uh, not a good time. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know what Val Kimmer's condition is now and how he's been, but I'd love to see him. I'm not asking. I don't think they get along too well still. Which is fine. I don't need them to enjoy each other's company, Calvin. Last movie I saw. I need to Cameron see him real rough. preparing for Halloween just like Batman. <laughs> Admiral? <laughs> well, Rooster's still angry with me about what I did. I thought eventually he would understand why. I hoped he'd forgive me. The mission is less than three weeks away. The kid's not ready. There's a lot more. Ask me to send him. Send me. I don't know how. I'm not a teacher. I I'm a fighter pilot. A naval aviator. It's not what I am. It's who I am. How do I teach that? Even if I could teach it, it's not what Rooster wants. It's not what the Navy wants. That's where they can be the last time. The only reason I'm here. Send him. He'll never forgive me. Either way, I could lose him forever. The Navy needs Maverick. The kid needs Maverick. That's why I fought for you. That's why you're still here. Can anything stop Val Kilmer from being amazing? He's so good. Ugh. I'm so glad they were able to get him in here. I know! I love that scene. I kind of want to stop the movie. I don't want to get, Like, you can't get better than that. <laughs> can you? I guess you can. <sighs> oh. <gasps> A beach ball volleyball time? Are they gonna? They're gonna wear jeans, shirtless, and hump the sand. You watch the room. They know where it's at. We need teamwork. That's what we need. That's what we're doing. Like we have two balls at the same time. Some weird like. Ah. It's double football. <laughs> you have to get your objective and defend yours at the same yep. time, right? Yes. Right in the water, so everyone's wet. 
Now I'll push ups before they shot. Who knocked over the old man? <laughs> That's what I imagine them doing. So he looks like in like as good a shape as him. Uh, it's a little saggy. Sure. But in very good shape for you. He is very good. How old is he now? Like 60s? <laughs> like how old? Early, early 60s? I hope I look that good you won't. when I'm that old. I don't look that good now. I know, Eric. You didn't rub it in. I'm not saying I'm you don't saying look good then. now. Then, saying you 30 won't. more years. You won't. You can't say that. I'll put 19 bucks on it. And I'll wait. <laughs> is, there, is there interest as that goes? Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's no maturity. A silly year. Stop football. Why are we out here playing games? You said to create a team. Sir. Yep. There's your team. They're all working together, having fun. Yeah. Holding up Bob! <laughs> she gonna leave the door open? Yeah. She didn't say a word, she didn't look back, she did nothing. She is just so unsafe. Leaves <laughs> 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 Somebody's gonna break in! <laughs> the time in my life, I would have missed that signal. <coughs> That's weird. Hmm. Text him. Hey! He's like, hey, your door's still open. Door's open. The house oh no, not the tongue, no! Maybe it's hot in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skunk got in or something. Got aired out. Skunk's gonna get in again. Better close the door. She made me promise before she died, so. Oh, she died too. <laughs> he will always resent me for what I did. Why should you resent her? Blame. I didn't think he was ready. Is he ready now? He did that one maneuver with you. <gasps> oh shit. He's real slow though. I thought you were staying at Karen's tonight. Wait, not that way. He's got to jump out the window. <laughs> Gotta fall out the window. We're on the second floor. So I'm sixty years to, old. To sneak the guy out the window. This is the last time I go out your window. We'll see. No, no, I mean it. I'm never gonna leave you again. No, shut up. <laughs> Push him. Ah! I thought that was him for a second. Me too. <laughs> I wanted it to be him so bad. <laughs> She used to be so funny. You saw his motorcycle. Ah, uh, there we go. Shh. Just don't break her heart again. <laughs> like, I think that's what she was hitting at on the boat thing, right? Yeah, sure. You know? I was just standing at the window. Good morning. Uranium enrichment. The old lady knives out. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, no. Raw uranium will be delivered to the plant in 10 days. Oh, we don't have the time anymore. We don't have the weeks. The mission has been moved up one week. It's the most difficult stage of the mission. It's a pop-up strike <laughs> with a steep dive requiring nothing less than two consecutive miracles. Two miracles? What? <laughs> Keepers and F-18s will fly in a welded wing formation. On final approach, you'll invert directly into a this steep dive. This is going to be dive. so cool. I know it. This allows you to maintain the lowest possible altitude. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And the only possible <laughs> attack angle. Then they gotta pull up. Your target so fast. Is an impact point less than three meters wide. <laughs> three meters wide. Not much bigger than a Wombrat. The first pair will breach the reactor by dropping a laser guided bomb on an exposed ventilation. Oh, area. they gotta go one, two. This will create yeah. an opening for Damn. the second pair. That's miracle number one. <laughs> the second team will deliver the kill shot. In the hole. Yeah. In the and same the spot. Time. Down the elevator shaft. That's miracle number two. Now you gotta climb straight up. Other team misses the target. Yeah, That's Jesus. The mission is a failure. You've all faced sustained G's before. This, this is gonna take you and your aircraft to the breaking point. Do you have to turn it again and dive again? Is this even achievable? The answer to that question will come down to the pilot in the box. 
And Maverick said he thought he could do it. Yeah. And then you can't yeah, do it. You have the added wrinkle of if something fucks up, they're going to be sending that fifth generation fighter at you. Yeah. Level out, Coyote. Oh, he's no. out. Oh, no. Oh, Shit. Oh, fuck. no. It's okay. Coyote. He'll come back. The aircraft Coyote. has systems. He's going to burn in. I'm going after him. What are you doing in another plane? Press the button for him. Come on, give me tone. Give me tone. Give me tone. It might wake Step him up the sound. Come on. Oh, maybe, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You okay? You okay? I'm okay. I'm good. 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 That's enough for today. That was close. Too close. First strike. First strike. Oh shit! No. Fuck. No. Venus, what that shit's on fire? Climbing. Climbing for that. Shutting off fuel to let that. Yeah, low oxygen. Yeah. No. What happens when you push the plane past this limit? You can't save it. He checked. He checked. He checked. He checked. He checked. Run! Okay. John Ham is not gonna be happy. They have more F-18s. Check, so you check something off. <laughs> John Ham won't be happy. <laughs> That was the first scene. <laughs> Why did you stand in my way? You weren't ready. Ready for what? Huh? Ready to fly like you? No. Ready to forget the book. Trust your instincts. Don't think. Just do. You think up there, you're dead. Believe me. My dad believed in you. No. I'm not going to make the same mistake. Damn global warming. Where's the son of the guy that wants some butts? Like, he's not here. I want some butts. Where's that guy's kid? Some like admiral somewhere. Yeah, he'll show up. Probably John Hamm. <laughs> He's doing, He's doing an example of how to run it, isn't he? Yep. Here's how you Perfect run range this. Control. Entering point alpha. Confirm green range. Uh, Maverick, range control. Uh, green range Show me his kids. I don't see an event scheduled for you. It's like you're confirmed, but uh, <laughs> I'm going you're supposed to be here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like being here before last Two run. minutes, 15 seconds. 2.15, that's impossible. Ooh. 15 Five seconds under. Maverick's in bounds. Now we did in the 80s, kids. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I mean, how many G's he hit doing Mach 9? A lot. I mean, there's less than that. Yeah. You know? Like, but it's a different aircraft. It, sure. It's a different aircraft. It suits different. Yeah, it's a it's consistent G-force rather than the high-peaking G-force. Sure. High peaking G G forces. Oh jeez, Jesus! I love this. These shots are so good. Oh, so tense. Just imagine how tense you are. You get car sick going down 555. I like, know. Each each of these pulls would feel like the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. That's how I feel like a roller skate. Too fat. No, I'm doing too fast. My ankles so oh, good. <laughs> Did you say too fast or too fat? Too fat. Okay. Yeah, you okay. gain speed. You want to help? Both! Too fast, too fast! Oh man! Keep your, 
speed, be real close. Do it in 215. Oh, nope. Kevin, you're missing it. Kevin, I'll survive. Yeah, stuck in your shirt. It's a hoodie. Here's a straight stretch. You gotta do the climb. Will he hit the target too? Oh, he can only hit one of them. Yeah, Unless yeah, he can't. Oh, he can't no. he can plays. <laughs> <laughs> target has two miracles? <laughs> He's just doing the run. He's not hitting the target. He can't blaze and drop the ball. He is the miracle. Nobody can't be dropping it. <laughs> oh, look at that in the background. It's great. That's what World War I planes used to do. They used to carry a bag full of grenades up with them and drop them. Yep. He's just dead switching it. He's doing it all on his own to hit this target. God Never. damn. He turned off your targeting computer. He shot two, too. Oh, stagger release. He needs to show them that it can be done. Nine Gs. Are you shooting the second Is he going to shoot it backwards? No way. Okay, he's just watching. He's just watching. No, he was holding a laser on target. 10 G's. G's. <laughs> Cyclone, you idiot. Now it's Cyclone. <laughs> I have everything I need to have you court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. Bet you won't. And what yet. Do do? So do it. Bitch. Risk the lives of my pilots and perhaps the success of this mission. Swallow your ego. Risk my career. By appointing you team leader. <laughs> Making him win the pilots. <laughs> Sir, I think the Admiral's asking a rhetorical question. <laughs> 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 I was like, clearly, sir, you do this. <laughs> he said before that he could do it, but he didn't know who the other guys would be. Yep. Who's he take? He's got to pick one. I mean, it's gotta be Rooster. Gotta pick three, right? Fucking Hangman doesn't work well with people. He's the best, though. Oh, man, what if what if he doesn't make it back? Which Hangman one? or Rooster? Maverick. Maverick. Then he'll fly with Goose in heaven, Aaron. To save Rooster or something, you know? Yeah. And they'll take their ladies on dates. Well, because some, some of the planes, like, uh, <laughs> what was it? Payback or whoever it was that went unconscious. He was in that plane alone, right? It wasn't like a... It wasn't no, yeah. Him. There's yeah. There's a single seater and a two seater. Two seater was so, flying and lazing. Yeah. He could easily be in one on his own and end up not making it back or something, you know? Sure. Especially with this love relationship that he's created with this woman. Or rekindled. He said I'll never leave you again. Do you not trust Tom Cruise? He's got this mission. <laughs> <laughs> Where you belong. You can see the rooster before you fly long enough, you're gonna lose someone. Well, and that's what he said to uh, Ed Harris, too, right? Why aren't you an admiral? Why aren't you here? Why aren't you there? He's like, I'm where, where I belong. <laughs> they got elevators? Hey! Yeah. Do you not know how aircraft carriers <laughs> work? I park not. them inside the, the <laughs> ship. I missed that day. They don't all park on the deck. And then he just scrapes them all. <laughs> Get back at Fanboy. Phoenix and Bob. They're the reserve? No, those are the, are they the ones that are two seater okay. pilots. And your wingman? Rooster. Rooster's his wingman. Oh, man. The rest of you will stand by on the carrier. Didn't take Hangman. Reserve mm -hmm. or <clears throat> Hangman is the one that has an air-to-air -air kill, right? Yeah. He is, yeah. I think if those planes come in, you send him out. Right? He's the only one that has that experience. Sure, but he's in a... I don't think they get any more ships coming he's in. He's in a shitty plane up against great planes. <laughs> about Comparatively. He's about to pilot. F-18 is still crazy. You give him hell! Don't argue about it now. That guy can play a T-1000. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Robert Patrick? Yeah, he's got the forehead. He can play it. We'll talk. We get back. You 
got this. You literally reached out from the screen and teased me. <laughs> Maverick. It's got your heartstrings in its hand. Maverick. Now it's going to play it like a violin. Mm -hmm. Hey, you with me? I don't know if they're toying with me, oh if it's really going to go the direction, or what. It's the only look I got. It's the only one I got. <clears throat> yep, I've seen that movie. What I would like to see is, like, when they get over that mountain, there's going to be them after them, right? There's going to be ships. Like, you want to have support for them when they get out of there. This is one of the few movies. Well, okay. yeah. They're, they're staying under the radar so they don't get picked up, right? Yeah, but not by the end. By the end, you're going up. <laughs> oh my god. That's a real Look. fucking catapult launch? Yep. Awesome. Man. And they didn't do that in the first one. No. <laughs> this is one of the few movies where I just want to see the plan happen exactly as they said, because I know it's going to look amazing. I hope they do it, okay? I have all these digital clocks and he's got a fucking stopwatch. Yeah. What does he think? <laughs> this is funny. The lives in that quartz, baby. The last wow. fashion of the old ways, wow. right? Wow. Yeah. That's just yeah. so That's real. First Sam sight of the That'll too much. 30 seconds to Tomahawk impact on enemy air. Here's what you want to do. Speed up, play it safe. There's some bandits. Where the hell they come from? Long range patrol. Yep. Bad luck. So it's sweet. Can like hangman distract him or anything? Or? These are the Russians, right? Where? The unnamed 80s Russian villains. <laughs> Come on, Rooster. Fuck your runway! Impact. Enemy runway is destroyed. That only helps if they, they don't have VTOL. Now. They're coming back now. I guess that's the target. Rooster, where are you? Come on, Rooster! Turn it to bell. We gotta make up time now! Let's train and learn! The later you wait to accelerate, the more you have to accelerate. Sure. Over the bridge. What's up, Phoenix? Oh. <laughs> Don't go over the bridge. Yeah. Rooster, went, Rooster's going to go over, isn't he? Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. No way. Talk to me, Don't think. Oh, fuck. Come on, kid. You can do it. Don't think. Just do it. Jesus, that's it, kid. That's it. All right, let's go. I'll grab passing. Pass Tom Cruise. Sarah, start playing. You say run. I know it. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, it's not just giving a bullseye now. You gotta find that target. Good there it is. Got target, Bob. Target three. Stand by, Matt! Come on, Bob, come on. Stand by! I've got it, Captain! Target acquired, Bob's away. Alright. Make the hole. We won't know for a second. Yeah, bombs are still in transit. Keep it locked, Bob. Keep it locked, Bob. Keep it locked, Bob. Yes! Oof. Nice! Nice! Boom! Oh. Oh. Miracle one. Miracle number one. Yeah! <laughs> Target two! Status! Almost there, man! Almost there! Alright, come on, Rooster. Stand point! Where's my laser? Rooster, there's something wrong with his laser! Oh, no! Shit. Did I, did I, did I! Come on, Target! Did you do a blind? He's got a Luke Skywalker it. Right? Get him there! Get him there! Oh, no! <laughs> Bombs away! Bombs away! Bombs away! Oh, it's not gonna do it. It went in! Did it go in? I saw it! Yeah, no way. Insertion! Oh, Insertion! Man. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye! <laughs> He's dancing in his cockpit on the run. Now get out of here. Here it comes! Sam, now what? Now what? Slayers? Or we can do it. Well, they probably have a radar lock rather than a speed lock. There's the flares. Damn, this shit is amazing. Booster status. Come on. Oh my god. Flares. 
Just dodge this. Don't black out. I thought I hit someone. Deploying countermeasures. There's more, there's more. Uh. Talk to me, Bob. Talk to me, Bob. Bob's just screaming. There's got to be something easy to get to. Hit it with your arm. So much. Oh. Come on, get out of this. God damn computer. Skynet. There's so damn. many Sams. He's out. He's out. Is he going to do the slow down and get behind him like when he killed him? Oh, he's dropping flares! You oh, mad man! No! No! Yeah. no. Yeah. Fuck. Dagger one is hit! That'd be a dead. Oh my gosh. Maverick is down! It's like behind enemy lines now. <laughs> they cut out the bogeys for search and rescue. Yep! Gotta get out of here, yep. man. This is yep. behind enemy lines. Yep. Scary. Look at that thing! The monster! Indeed. The gunship. Yeah. It's a fucking giant dragon. Oh shit. man, they're gonna shoot him! Oh, well, yeah, that would stop your shit! Idiot. You blew up our iridium! We blow you up! They're gonna blow up. Rooster hangman! Someone? <laughs> you can't really pick them up in these, these fighters, but... They can clear the way for people who can. Get out of here. Don't get. Oh no. He's out of flares. Dagger 2 is hit. Alright. Are you packing yeah, good. a parachute? You right? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing back here? <laughs> what are you doing here? What am I doing you here? You should have that missile so you could be down here with me. You should be back on the carrier by now. I saved your life. I saved your life. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> now we both what the die. What were you even thinking? You told me not to think. <laughs> You're right. I was taught by a guy named Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what, dumbass? <laughs> <laughs> Are they gonna steal a fucking plane? <laughs> they ain't get one of those new ones. You're not serious. I think yeah, that's the plan, Calvin. They're gonna steal a fucking plane. That runway is fucked. They're gonna take off in the the median. <laughs> what is the last thing they'd expect? That the enemy comes in, steals one of their planes, and use their fucked up runway to escape. An F-14. <clears throat> I shot down three megs or whatever. The megs. That ass can fly. Let's find out. Just walk like you own the place. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of chaos. You should have a ladder. <laughs> there's guys up there. And a clipboard. Yep. There's more over there. Okay. Let's start running. Yeah, run, run. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is jogging. <clears throat> Make sure it has fuel. What's, what's Charge the batteries. Yes. Yes. What's up? Let's throw the ladder. How's he get up? He has a different ladder, probably. He's earned his wings. It's been a minute, how mad? Dude, this is like Batman bringing out the old 66 Batman video. <laughs> We're gonna jump some sharks, baby! Traders, 
Shoot it till it's flat. He's putting it in sport mode. No, that's the opposite. Oh, the wind's coming out, man. He's gonna try to get off the ground way before. Get a lot yeah. left. Usually you try to get your speed and then you pull this up and then you pull those out. Not a runway. This is a very short taxiway, man. He's just turning around. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, F-14s have a positive weight to thrust ratio. Aircraft carry is pretty short runway too. Because they have to come back pneumatic ones. That's not great. Come on. Are we going over or between? I don't know! Yeah, probably shit. going between. I feel like we're gonna have to. We're gonna go. Oh, oh you're not landing that on an aircraft wheel. carrier anyway. Doesn't have a trailing hook. We just gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you turn on the rooster. Quick. We're receiving a signal from Rooster's e set. There seems to be a malfunction. Have you lost him? No, sir. He's supersonic. He's airborne. In what? Sir, Overwatch reports an F-14 Tomcat is airborne. Red 5 is in the air. Can't be. It can't be. <laughs> He's like, no. damn it. I thought I got rid of him. <laughs> he just in. won't die. He's <laughs> there. Mav, tally two, five, oh five, five, my god, they're in this. They're in an enemy fighter, but they're they're marked as they're friendlies. You want any vodka? Must be Canadians. They're too friendly. What's that signal? What's he said? Yeah, no idea. I have no idea what he's doing. Yeah, I'll fly him. Hangman, maybe? Maybe it's a dogfight. Is he still on the ready? Dogfight. 14 against fifth gen fighters. It's not the plane, it's the pilot. <laughs> I mean, there's. You'd go after him if I was like There's a material limitation. It's like Yamcha <laughs> fighting Frieza. <laughs> Come on, Mav. Don't think. Just do. You diving? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! oh! All right, one nice. down. Counts for a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke, 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 that guy in the other plane was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> He's got players. Ooh, damn! So much more maneuverable. Oh, man. What the fuck was that? They have thrust vectoring. All kinds of shit. Yep. Got to beat him on the downhill. Yeah. Come on, where is he? It's right behind us. Yeah. Where else is he gonna be? Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Come on, man. Do some pilot shit. Brace yourself. Do some pilot shit. <laughs> oh. Lock his spoils. now. Oh, he's coming straight at you? No bullets, no nothing. Man, that is not a good position to be in. Oh, we're out of flares, Mav! That is beautiful. Now it's 
Hangman. Oh, yeah. Hope. Yeah. We're in the water now. You know who we need now. We have nothing to defend us otherwise. Throw the ejection handles the second I tell you. Yeah, Luke, sir, there's no other way. He's getting him out of the plane, isn't he? Yeah. Eject, eject, eject. Uh, Luke, sir, pull the they don't eject. work. Oh no. The pilot should have master though. Like if he pulls his, both of them should go, regardless. season stuff yeah Ugh. yeah if, if you can't uh if you lose a hook or something like that ow, just fucking bit my tongue you good <laughs> you okay yeah i'm good get them cigars <laughs> I hit two just there. And there's other three from the last time, right? Well, now, John Ham, you've been buzzed. Give him a hand. Come on. Yes, not, not as acceptable. the song was. Lady Gaga? Huh? Uh, she was in the credits. Yeah, yeah. maybe. So it sounds like... I never heard the song. That's what that LG stands for right there on the plane. Mm. Oh, dude, that'd be so cool.
he was great. I also really liked Warlock. John Hamm was a good asshole. <laughs> As he often is. Yep. That, that dude get these two did such a good job. Ugh. He flew off into the sunset. <laughs> like, oh, he went that way. <laughs> he flew off into the sunset. You don't want to fly directly into the sun. I get the spirit of what you meant. Just into the sunset. Yeah. <clears throat> it could be the sunrise, I suppose. I assume that would be it. I can't imagine there being an after credit scene or something like that. Alright, we'll be able to check. If there is one, though, what do you think it would be? I don't know. What, would it, what could it possibly be? It's the was? goose, and he's coming in to get Maverick to have him join Heaven Squad. Right? We didn't see fighting him, like, the devil, chin licking. So, yeah, they could still have that. They got close. They had the shot. <laughs> I was like, oh no. And there's like a spree of like movies that I remember from like being young that have come back like 30 years later, and I'm like, you know what? I've enjoyed this. There's Ghostbusters Afterlife I really enjoyed. Yeah. There's this one here. But we also watched Independence Day. Sure. I mean. I'm mean, saying, I'm not saying they're all winners. I'm saying like there's been <laughs> some ones that I'm like, I like yeah. how these turned out. Overall, it has been worth it. I think it's a uh, not an easy thing to do. If you're gonna sure. do it, you gotta do it better than they did it. Sure. Well, this one also had like they did it better than they did direction it. with the mission. Whereas like I don't feel like Top Gun itself necessarily had like a direction. It was like you're in a class. The biggest right? weakness. Of so the, this is like yeah. we've taken everyone from the Top Gun classes. Sure. You are the best ones, mm -hmm. and you're sure. doing a special mission, yeah. and that's what they're going for here. As opposed like to before, that. it was just like. Who's the best pilot? Yeah. Let's just well, have some things, and then they actually have a thing that they had to do, but it wasn't like they were gearing towards that mission. They're the best of the last of their kind, too, right? Sure. Like, this is a very, like, end-of-the-line kind of movie where... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're looking at the idea of man versus unmanned and all that. And yeah. Like, even Ed Harris is like, you guys aren't going to be around much longer. We're not going to need you, you know, your kind of yeah. people. If you get to the point where you're having a dogfight, like, there's been some kind of breakdown in the mission to put you in that position, right? Like, either you didn't prepare or, yeah. you know, your strikes weren't accurate or something like that sure. to, to prepare for safe uh, flying through there. Sure. It's usually in and out. Yeah. Preferably. Yeah. You like, want to go in, take out the target, get out of there. Yeah. Or like what Maverick was saying in this, you know, <laughs> they've been flying high-altitude missions, dropping bombs. They haven't been dogfighting, you know? Yeah. That's just the way it's going now because bombs are so much well, more accurate than yeah. they used to be. And a lot of those targets that you're hitting and stuff, like, they might be important military targets, but they might also not be defended by, like, fighter pilots. Sure. They might have, like, surface-to-air missiles that are around it to protect it from that kind of stuff, but they mm -hmm. don't have, like, a runway prepared to sure. take off or anything. It just depends on the target, I guess. When I was growing up, I had an, uh, an uncle that worked in the Air Force, and... Every we always made it, thought it was a joke, but every time he would be, he would be like, "What are you working on?" He was a scientist. He'd be like, "Can't tell you, not allowed." And then, like, I don't know, fifteen years later, after you know, kind of you know, just he would never tell us anything. He's like, "All right, it's declassified." He worked on the lasers that guided those precision bunker missiles. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that stuff is scary. But this, uh, like I said, I, I think that stuff like this only works if you can do it better than they did it, right? Like. Aladdin is fine, but is it better than the cartoon? Like in terms of like everything it shows and, and performances and stuff. Like I don't know, but this, in almost every way, with the fight combat, is just better. If only because I can keep track of where everybody is in three D space. Whereas the first one, I kind of had a problem with that. Most like, of it that was too. it was beautiful, yes, but I had a hard time being like, okay, I don't know exactly where they are and where they are. You know, most of that too was also just kind of like like in the final fight of yeah. this one. It's like they're, they're, they're just above the water in the air. And yeah, there's true. also nothing around to really kind yeah. of play like... There's no landmarks to yeah. actually yeah. place yeah. relation to where the planes are and where the ground was or but is. Like or and thing. you're doing quick shots of individual crafts and stuff and mm -hmm. putting them together yeah. in an edit, probably. Rather than this sure. one, I feel like they're giving some time to breathe and you're seeing yeah. they, all four of them lining up behind each other. Yeah. And taking Whatever off they and intend for you to know. Like, usually, yeah. like in stuff like that last one, they don't want you to know what's happening, yeah. right? They need to keep that tension up. 
But when they want you to know, you can literally see the other fighters in their cockpits. And then when we go, when we go to the next one, we don't break the 180 degree rule. Like, they're following very simple editing. Uh, guidelines? Guidelines, yeah. But for real in the air. Yeah. Where the first one, they only got a few times that they could actually film a jet in the mm -hmm. air. So they took advantage and they got as many shots of that one jet flying for 10 minutes that they could. Mm -hmm. To the point where the Navy did an investigation to find out where, like, where they got a plane to fly this maneuver mm -hmm. because they didn't realize how much coverage that they got of that one plane. Gotcha. They were like, wait a minute, they had two planes up in the air. You can see the other one in this shot right here. Find that plane! <laughs> but this one, they just, they got so much more. There's a lot. I feel like there's a lot more flight combat and everything in this one in general. Yeah. I mean, that's solely on the back of Tom Cruise as an executive producer that can like demand that that level of that standard that's just what he does apparently sure. he he designed a three month training program for each of the actors that would be flying and they were up in the air for like six hours a day that's awesome filming they were yeah. doing their own like camera work their lighting their makeup were having to remember their lines and their eye lines <laughs> yeah like Okay, the plane is beside me over here. Talk in that direction. Sure, yeah, that's uh, that's so important to like to keep organized, right? And yeah, your continuity supervisor is not in the plane beside you. No, being like, look left. You know, <laughs> like the problem is because they didn't have a live feed to the ground. Yeah, they would have to wait until they landed to mm -hmm. see any of the footage. All right, how did and make corrections for the next day? Yeah. What should I do differently? Yeah, and then remember all that for the next day. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, three of the six actors that were the pilots threw up every single day that they were in the plane. Yep. That sucks. <laughs> He's not supposed to do that. <laughs> Millions of years of evolution say, no, don't do that. <laughs> but no, as far as the flight stuff too, like there was some of the shots that were just great and like some of the methods. I really love uh, Maverick doing the same move he used to get behind Rooster during the training, but deploying flares to get yeah. one missile and then taking the hit of the other missile. Like, yeah. I just love that. That was a great move. Yeah, I thought that was great. I also really love him taking out the two fifth-generation fighters where he's like, surprise attack the one, yeah. but then use that falling ship, <laughs> the falling plane, to, like, hit the other missile and stuff. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's so cool. I love that. My favorite stuff is just the, like, the stuff that's so hard to do in visual effects, it's just easier and cheaper to go do it for reals. <laughs> you know? Like, uh... Especially the one shot right before they started the mission, and they have like the three fighters going past or past the river, and it's just like there's something about the way the heat moves that like that type of stuff is just so hard to get right. But us, you know, we just like when you see it, you recognize if it's real or not, and that was just real. It just really blew my mind those shots. Yeah, the coordination, the the camera work. If you fuck up, the, the stress of fucking up the shot and they have to do it again, you know? Yeah, so much money. So much. I really like uh, Maverick taking off from the carrier. That shot was really good. Like was, It just mm, stayed in the cockpit yeah. as he took off. It looks just so good. Just keep it a little bit longer. <clears throat> yeah, they didn't do it with anyone else, just with uh, Maverick, but yeah. it looked really cool. I love that. I will say, there was a lot of great moments, but that little kid that's like earth that was so funny. where am i yeah. <laughs> well that was so good and when we were talking about him taking on like how far when if he's trying to go mach 10 how far is he going you yeah. know like the speed you're going like where is he i don't know where he's starting off and taking off from. yeah right yeah, and, and he like ramped up to that so yeah. he's been going for a bit it yeah seemed like and like i said you can't just do that in a circle yeah you no. know like he did a turn but that turn also like <laughs> The, it looked really sharp from the one angle, but then yeah. when it zoomed back, it didn't look quite as sharp. Yeah. You know, like, like it probably took him like five seconds to do what Lewis and Clark did in how long? Two years. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, sure, if he's going over 6,000 miles oh. an hour. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I uh, didn't I, I, I didn't really care about the love interest stuff that much. No? No. I mean, everything else was so not nostalgia fuel, but so like pointing at like a certain feeling that that one I was just kind of like okay I felt like it wasn't bad I just felt like it was there because you have to have one it, it felt like yeah I think that's the perfect way to put it it felt I like it was there because you had to have one I suppose so it felt like there was something here and like it's always been his flight 
Like, he's never sure. stayed somewhere to be grounded. Yeah. He never had a wife. He never had kids. You know, yeah. all that kind of stuff that Rooster talked about. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's kind of pushing towards, like, I guess so. this is where we're going with you. Instead of yeah. him being such a... He's out there loose cannoning and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I really love by the end of it, like, sure, he's there with the, the girl and the, the daughter or whatever, but Rooster's there. And, yeah. like, they're, like, fixing the, the plane together and yeah. stuff like well, that. Well, it's a relationship it, that I, I care about. Though, yeah, so. it reflects the, the father yeah. idea that he was like, I wanted to be a father for him because yeah. he lost his and, I, you know, I couldn't be there. That was just and, so powerful that whenever, like, you know, she's not there, she's on a sail trip. Like, I felt nothing. I was like, oh, what's up? Sh- you yeah, know? sure. But, like, compared to all the other relationships that he has, even the John Hamm one, like... There's an arc. Whereas, like, here, it's like, they like each other, they like each other, and she is there. Ah, she is there. They like each other. Sure. You know? I get what you mean. I think there's some different ways you could go about it. Yeah. But I think it just reflects that. Like, why wasn't he there to be a father for Rooster, you know? Sure. Like, I imagine his mom took care of him, and he was off doing whatever he was doing. Yeah. Bouncing around from place to place, getting kicked out, not getting kicked out, getting saved by Iceman, and all that Mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So, I think it's supposed to be an analogy for him, like... Calming down, down a little bit, letting settling, go. settling, yeah, letting go, mm-hmm. like what Val Kilmer said, right? Sure. The letting down, letting it go idea. So, I get what you mean. Maybe there could have been more of a growth, but we also don't know that lady at all. So, like, I don't know what growth they did have. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know what I mean? There, there was a history there that we just didn't really get to know. Gotcha. So I don't know. But I really enjoyed. Uh, I really enjoyed a lot of the rooster stuff. Like, I, I like the idea that. You know, his mom didn't want him to fly, mm-hmm. which I understand that makes sense. Yep. But the fact that he took the papers, like his mom died, he pulled his papers so that he wouldn't be able to fly. He set him back. Yeah. And he didn't want to tell him that the reason was that his wife or his mom told him not to, mm-hmm. like, don't let him fly. He took the brunt. And then he didn't want his him to also resent his mother. Yep. So he just mm-hmm. let him resent him the whole time. And I'm like, man, I, I really mm-hmm. I really like that. That's it's a good what, white lie, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm... I know that he's going to hate me for this. There's no point in him hating me and hating his mom, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I like that a lot. And then there was something about, I don't know, I don't know how much to read into it or whatnot, but um, when Rooster's going too slow and they need to go faster, and he's like, the whole movie you have, like, talk to me, Goose. Talk to me, Goose. And they yeah. keep doing that. And then he goes, talk to me, Dad. And then right after you have Maverick say, come on, son, you can do this, you know, just do this, kid, or yeah. whatever the line was. And I was like, oh, I like that. It's like, he wants to be a father for him. He says, talk to me, Dad. But I'm assuming he hears Maverick's words being like, you can do this. I felt that, you know? too. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then later on, he's like, Dad would want me to save you. And I'm like, ah, but there's Dad. And then there's this guy who could be Dad, too, kind yeah. of in a way. You know? It's like two fathers. And, yeah. Uh, anyway, I liked a lot of that. Not really good. The rooster stuff, I think, was done really well. It yeah. was uh, done I good. So. I think by the end of it, I might have had a little tiny bit of like, yeah, I mean, I'm glad. But, like, I get it. Like, you know, like there was like one or two extra shots where... They were like, remember Goose? I'm like, yeah. Like, it's sad, but it's also happy. I'm like, yeah. It might happen like one too many times for me. I feel like bit. I didn't need the flashback. Yeah, well, I maybe. mean, maybe. I also like, just I, watched I, it. I feel <laughs> like the pictures in the locker. Yeah. And then the pictures next to the plane sure. and stuff like that. I feel like that was enough. Yeah. Sure. But I, I maybe think, for the average viewer. Yeah. I think for the younger just viewer. Just want to make sure. Sh- yeah. You know? Right. Because I think you can be like, oh, I can tell that that's, that was his wingman. Yeah. You know, this goose mm-hmm. guy. And then he's mm-hmm. doing that. But then understanding more of the death yeah. that they were flying together when he died and that, you know, they kind of talk about him feeling guilty and stuff. Yeah. You kind of see a little bit more of it. Where if you don't see it, the conversation that I think it was, I think John Hamm and him had about mm-hmm. it, I think is who it was. When it was talking about like the the death of him, like you still blame yeah. yourself, or you know, did, what does Rooster blame? You know, who does he blame for it? Like that kind of conversation, yeah. like you don't really know what happens until sure. you kind of see that moment there. No, I thought that was all great. It's just like, like maybe like the final one where you saw the picture again, where I was like, I, I've already felt this feeling like ten times. You don't want you to do it again, but it was still good, sure. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and maybe that was just offset by me having no feeling for like, oh, she showed up with a car, sweet. <laughs> Is that plane they're fixing up at the end? Meaningful in some way was that in the first movie? Not that um, I remember. I I know it's his, like Tom Cruise's. Yeah, actual plane. Like he owns that. Yeah. It stands for Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It just said allergy on the side. I don't know. Yeah. It's his uh, tail member. It's a license plate for planes. I just I just like that they included Val Kilmer into this you know oh, like yeah. they made a way to make things work out and everything like I know yeah. like he had like a stroke right and hasn't yeah. been doing well and stuff yeah. because of things well, yeah. so like they give a reason to why like he does speak some but he has trouble speaking and they give a reason for that not exactly but enough of one well he he has throat cancer 
Sure. I mean, in the movie, yeah. no, they yeah. don't give you like... They a, implied he had cancer. There's something they wrong. Said it's it's wrong. It hurts something and like all that. that. Like, there's something there. Yeah. You can assume whatever it is. But yeah. I like that they give this a reason, mm -hmm. but still make sure to try to include him into it. Oh, yeah. Even doing the typing and the texting thing where it's like... I feel like in some movies, they would just be like, no, let's not do that. Yeah. They're like, let's include Iceman. Let's have him involved in this. It was just that scene between those two. Like, you know, they talk about how true masters, they show their mastery when they don't have enough of something versus when they have too much of something. And like, he just can just emote, you know? It's like Ken Watanabe in The Last Samurai. He has that entire scene where he doesn't speak, you know? It's, I thought the same thing here. I almost, when he spoke, I almost, like, like I, it was great, but I was more impressed when he didn't, <laughs> you sure. know? I liked when he was like, uh, I want to talk about work. Yeah. He goes, ah, no, like, you know, well, what do you want me here for? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I just typed it. <laughs> That's what I want to do. It was great, and I love the way they ended it with the who's the better flyer, though. Who's the better pilot and you know? stuff. Sure. It, the death scene was sad. Not the death scene, but I guess the funeral. Funeral. Mm -hmm. Stamping that. Those wings. Mm -hmm. The yeah. wings in there. I, I like that a lot. Yeah, apparently they used like some kind of AI to like mimic and rebuild lines from an interview that he did from a long time ago hmm. for the the scenes where he was speaking because mm. mm. he wasn't able to yeah right. so he just kind of like mouthed it and they fit yeah. it in there and stuff so it's really cool that he he got to dub his own voice sure yeah i was like, i'm not sure exactly of like what condition he has been in lately or anything and then like whenever like the credits had said val kilmer i'm like well to what extent are they just crediting him and they use a likeness, you know, like there's sure. definitely digital ways of doing things. There's if he's just there as a picture, and it's like, well, we use his likeness in a picture, and then we're texting and using it that way. I wasn't sure what it was exactly it was going to be, so but I think it's cool that they was able to utilize him. And I saw him in a movie recently called like Snowman or something, and he had to be dubbed in that movie as well. Really? Whenever you know it, he he takes the hit for the kid, and he's going down. There was a part of me that's like. Okay, they they're gonna kill him. Sure. This is it. And then whenever you realize, oh, they're not doing that, they're gonna go get him. There's a part of me that was like, ah, oh, okay, maybe I would have liked him more if he if he actually did pass away. But by the time it got to the end, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm glad he's left. I'm glad. <laughs> that last sequence was really fun. I yeah, really I'm, enjoyed I'm glad that because yeah, that was great. I really I love that he gets into the old shit and then he goes fights the new shit. So sure. they already were like, hey, we're like here and here, and then they're like, actually. Chaozu versus Nappa now. Sure. You know? And it's 2v1. Yeah, and it's 2v1. <laughs> that was great. That was a really good way to do power scaling for planes that anyone can understand. Yeah. Sure. No, I enjoyed that. I also liked whenever like Rooster came back to save him, and then he got shot down, of course. But yeah. uh, I liked him. He was like, what are you doing here? Why? Are you? I saved you. He's like, like, you told me not to think. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what do you want? I didn't think I came and did this. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. What were you thinking? <laughs> I wasn't. Yeah, I figured with like dwelling on the goose stuff and um, the ice man like passing away, I figured we were gonna get a happy ending. Sure, I get you. I yeah. wasn't sure. They, they like whenever they, I thought about it. Then they kept like kind of shedding more light on it. I'm like, are they toying with me where I should be expecting him to die, or are they pushing that so that when he doesn't die, you know, like what way are we going with it? Even him saying like, goodbye to Hondo in a way, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it could have been a way where it's like the greatest pilot dies at in the last mission of this, these manned fighter pilots, right? It would have been great yeah, if, if like, the ones he fought against were unmanned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like a John Henry. John Henry. Say, yeah, John Henry versus the machine. Fucking robots. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, yeah. These unmanned drones are going to come after you. But then they wouldn't have flown up and been like, yeah, you know, yeah. doing all this stuff. Yeah. But they might have been confused by the the ship being there, I guess. The plane flying. Sure. Because that was an enemy plane, I guess. Well, you could, there there you wouldn't could have, have been a man in the box in to actually look like, over at the pilots. Xbox controller the machine would have just assumed <laughs> that it was one of, you know, a friend, of theirs, of, yeah. friend or foe. But yeah, Aaron, you, you have, what you would do instead is you show the guy back in Russia that has an Xbox controller and a headset being like, <laughs> looking at it. Like, can't tell, you know? <laughs> I suppose, yeah. yeah. You uh, wag your finger a lot. <laughs> you do... Mm. No, I, uh, I don't Seinfeld. think I've ever done that in my yeah. life. Yeah, you don't watch Seinfeld, huh? You've never, you never played. True, understand? You never pretend to be Raiden. Not like that. No. Uh, oh. I like the inclusion of the uh, the bird. 
Yeah, bird strike. Yeah, bird sure. strike, yeah. Well, especially after just having the one situation, you're like, oh, man, that was yeah. close. And all of a sudden, oh, shit. You yeah. know, and I'm like, don't kill more people. What's happening? I know it's dangerous, but sure. I don't want anyone to die. Yeah. It's training right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's not even just the editing and the way it's shot. Like, the writing, like, forces you to think about how high are they, how low are they. Sure. You know, these, you know, centuries can get you. So you're always in your head. You're thinking about how dangerous it is. Like, all of that stuff came together to really, like, make you understand three-dimensional space in a way that if you're not one of these guys, you really don't understand it. Well, and you show them failing a thousand times. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I think having the, even the hard deck stuff Mm -hmm. was more understandable here. Yeah. And they showed more of the uh, uh, altimeter, like, how high they are off the, like, they're showing it dwindle. Whereas in the first one, I don't think they showed that. They just said... He went under the hard deck, and then he went under the hard deck too, and got him. And it's like, but you went under the hard deck, you shouldn't do that. You know, it just there was no well, like. Well, it's also or it's easier to of... show with digital displays a lot of this stuff too. Sure. Like you can see a number, you know, bright light in a second, as sure. compared to some of the older planes where you've got like these gauges and. Well, it was just... still digital in an F fourteen. Yeah. Can, can you not just take that gauge out then and just shoot just that gauge going? You know, I don't know. Maybe. I'm sure, you can fake it. Right. Yeah, fucking, they fake sure. X-Wings and Star Destroyers and shit, Rick. I'm sure you can fake a low gauge. Of it. Man, don't you want a Rogue Squadron movie after watching this? I do. Are they still doing it? Or they keep canceling it? What are they doing now? <laughs> it's shelved and taken off the schedule. They saw this and it's like, we yeah, can't. Can't do that. And it's over. Uh, no more playing movies. Do you think Bob stood for anything at all? Or is it just Bob? I think it was Robert. Because I like the conversation there. And I was like, man, I hope it does stand for something. But then yeah. he said, baby on board. Like, fucking... Hangman, Hangman. <laughs> though I loved Hangman's like the way his call sign was on his helmet. Yeah, so I love the like, A's the missing. H was was the H or the A. Uh, the the A's, A's were missing. There was something missing here, something missing here, and I was yeah. like, I love that as an idea. I think it's so cool. Yeah, Hangman with A and A missing. That's cool. Which is stupid because you would start with the vowels. <laughs> you, you would. That's true. Someone really sucked. <laughs> yeah, that, but. Maybe it's Will Fortune, and you got to get the money first. Yeah, that you know that cost yeah. money. Uh, made, yeah. it makes sense exactly. Of course, it isn't Wheel of Fortune. But the vowels are the cheapest. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do Wheel of right? Fortune. They'll come get you. Pat, say Jack, he'll whoop your ass. Yeah, you think Mavericks. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, I did think there was going to be more of a manned versus unmanned theme Me here. Me too. Um, and Ed Harris wasn't in this movie very long. No, no he was not. He was I was kind of opening, disappointed. Yeah, he was in the opening credits of that, and the, the whole class was in it much more than he was. I mean, payback and... Well, Come do you on. think that it would have been too much, like, if, you know, if they make a chess movie about a man beating a computer, but you're going to be like, well, that doesn't, you can't, you can't beat it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I I kind of like how subtle it was, but I feel yeah. like it needed just a little bit more of that storyline. Because, mm-hmm. like, I get the analogy of, like, well, you know, this is the end of the line for Tom Cruise this is as his character. Yeah. So, like, it's also the end of the line for just his, like, like that character in general. Especially because Iceman is gone now, right? True. Yeah. Like, I mean, John Hamm might be like, yeah, he's good. Sure. They might but, have been the last. But they're never going to put him in a plane yeah. again. <laughs> I John wish Hamm's like, I'm not court martialing you. Sure. <laughs> but like having more of that man on man, like that storyline bit, you would have yeah. liked more? Is that what you're saying? I don't know, maybe. Like, I felt like the story was fine, and it was a framework for the awesome, awesome action. Yeah. But like, I feel like maybe it could have been a little more clever in spots. But it's Top Gun. It's Top Gun. I mean, it doesn't really need to be. I think that sure. you could. You know, some of the same criticism that people have of The Force Awakens to Star Wars, you could level at this thing being like, it's practically the same thing except the next generation, you know? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Like, to the point where, like, they have, you know, Tom Cruise, you're being sent to Top Gun, and then he's, and then you see a fighter jet take off, and then land, and then he rides on a motorcycle. Exact same shots, <laughs> you know? Just better. I think I like this one better than the original, though. Me too. I mean, I think I did too, to but I don't think that you, years. I don't think it hits the same if you don't watch the first one. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is one of those things. Like, I think, I think Ghostbusters Afterlife does well if you've watched the other Ghostbusters movies. I don't think it, I don't think it might hit as, the same if you don't, you know, sure. where you don't understand what's going on with well, the yeah. franchise and stuff, you know? Definitely on its own, not. though, maybe it is good. I don't know. You know? That's yeah, the thing. Like, like you want to make, you want to make these movies of today that are based on movies from 30, 40 years ago. But you want them to also be able to resonate where these kids that grew up in today's age didn't watch those movies still can understand and like since I've been an adult, I don't think I've seen movies out of order. But as a kid, yeah, like I saw Terminator Two before I saw Terminator One. Oh, I did too. I saw Aliens Mm -hmm. before I saw Alien. 
I, th- I might have. Mm-hmm. I know I saw Thanks. two before I saw one of Terminator. I'm trying to think of any movies that I can remember. Short Circuit 2. Um, I, out of order. I saw Star Wars Episode 4 before I saw Star Wars Episode 1. I mean, sure, but that's I did. the intended you? viewing order. Just saying. Right? Am I wrong? You're going to tell me I'm wrong, bro? You're going to tell me I'm wrong? Get down a bubble. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to my dad about this movie. Yeah. Has my, he, he has seen it now, right? He has seen it. My nice. dad has seen three movies in theaters in my what? lifetime. Let me guess. Well, I'm going to say this is one. So this is one. Yeah. This is one. <sighs> and you mentioned movies. another one earlier, mm-hmm. Twister. With Helen Hunt. Yep. With Helen you Hunt. You saw that in theaters? Bill he, Bixby. So he's a Helen Hunt fan. He Well, yeah. He just wanted to see it. He just, like, every decade would be like, I want to see this movie. What else is Helen Hunt? Twister, Map. He didn't see the first Top Gun. I don't know right? if you would have... I think I might have mentioned it before, but the only other movie he's gone to see was when I was insisting, like, I need to go see this movie. And was he, it... my mom forced him to take me. Uh, was it Lord of the Rings? Nope. No, no, it wasn't Lord of the Rings because he watched that on TV. He's like, there's two more of these movies? And that was well after they were already out. So I would go with either... He'd be young. I don't think it's Star Wars. I think he would have had other people who have seen that. I would go with... How young would you have been? I'm going to go with The Lion King. I can tell you exactly how young I was. The Lion King? We're going to go with like a Disney. I don't think it's animated. Was it animated, Eric? Nope. Damn. He would not have gone. I, well, <laughs> I knew it wasn't. I knew <laughs> it wasn't like, right. Like, like your mom made him. I was like, yeah, it's probably an animated movie. <laughs> is it in the 2000s? It is not. Oh, man. Okay. The 90s? Damn, because I was going to go for Harry Potter, but I'm like, I don't know. I think he's too old for that one. Like, Eric would have been too old. Something younger. Um, Dragonheart. No. And then he cried. No. Waterworld. <laughs> Waterworld. Yeah, Waterworld was earlier. I don't know. <laughs> it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two: oh, The Secret damn, of the Use. Damn, damn. Two. What in do you think? 1991. <laughs> it's one of the first movies I went to, and it's one of the last movies he saw. <laughs> Especially. Oh yeah. I'll pay money to see that reaction. I was just super, super, super young. I was With him watching that movie. So I was going to say very, you were young. like four. Yeah. But I remember. I remember going and watching it. I remember going to Hills after and begging for a Ninja Turtle action figure. I got it. That's weird. Fuck yeah. yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I remember the first movie that yeah. I went and saw. The, the one. What if it's one of the three your father went to? <laughs> sure. The one I have the oldest memory of seeing. Yeah. Was the sixth Halloween movie, which I think is weird because I would have been like seven yeah. or yeah, so when it came young. out, and I'm like, man, did I see that in mm-hmm. theaters? I don't I, even really remember it. I remember remembering. It's like one of those memories where, like, it's only through the retelling of the story that I re- even remember it. I remember, and I don't remember that movie. I, I've been wanting to rewatch that one. The only thing I remember is a guy standing in, like, an alleyway-looking area with, like, tall buildings and just being like, Michael! And, like, He's yelling like, for him and stuff. And I don't know if that was the end, the middle. I just, I have that vision in my head of that. And I remember, yeah. for some reason, what I believe to be a window in a movie theater I don't know why but as a kid I believe there's a window in a wall right next to where I was sitting and Michael was going to come out that window and get me <laughs> I don't know what it was it couldn't have been a window it makes no sense so well most windows are in walls well yeah but I don't know what else it would have been it wouldn't have been a window that makes no sense for a movie theater <laughs> you just get a little kid ah screaming <laughs> but it wasn't that it was window. probably like this big you yeah, know? yeah that's funny Maybe it was uh, Imagine him like trying to get to it. one of the little viewing windows in the door. Maybe like it reminds me of like a like the projection windows, but it would have been not in the wall of the projection not thing. behind it was you, next to me, next to my seats. There's no door there, so I don't know. It was that, weird. That's my uh, memory. I was remember a parking garage that day. A parking so I don't garage. know what theater we went to. <laughs> huh. I have no idea. The only but those are all weird memories. The only theater near a parking garage right. that I know of is down in Charleston. The one I thought of was like Southside, but I don't remember a theater over there ever. No, not to me. Southside Parkersburg. Yeah, like there was like a parking parking there was like a two dollar theater around over there. It, yeah, Could there wasn't that, a parking but garage. But was it near right? a parking garage? That's what I'm saying. Feel like Athens I, doesn't have a parking garage, I right? No, I don't remember any of in Athens. So anyway, that's my earliest memory of a movie. Gotcha. Yeah. Now I'm just thinking of Michael Myers and like a plane coming at you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like slower <laughs> than yours, but he's still catching up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, this was a lot of fun. I can see why so many people uh, loved it and sure, recommended yeah. it because it was it was. I'll never watch it the first time again. That was amazing. Yeah. Some of those shots were amazing. I like like all the fighting, the fighter pilot stuff. I thought was really good. Yeah. I enjoyed all the, the training stuff. I, I also really enjoy him just being like, I've been grounded. What do I do? How do I get to these? 
how do I reach these kids? Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Like, honestly, been grounded. You cannot yeah. fly. I'm going to go fly. Yeah. yeah. Like, the movie's <laughs> fine. It's like a seven, but I feel like just it, in, in terms of showing me something I've never seen before, it's a ten. Yeah. <sighs> sure. It's like you what know, Avatar was for a lot of people, I, yeah. I think. That makes sense, I guess. Mm. I can see that. Like, when I watched it, it wasn't, like, anything special. Yes. Yeah. That you was, see, you watch it. 10, I've seen tons 15 of that years later. Yeah, that's so, yeah. true. Yeah, but no, I get that. Like I don't. I've seen stealth, and I've seen the first Top Gun, and yeah. I've seen I don't know whatever other things that I've had. I've never seen pilots. stealth. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen stealth, but I've seen Blue Thunder. Stealth isn't. I wouldn't say it's great, but it de- it definitely covers the idea of like an you unmanned versus manned pilots, and that's kind of the gotcha. idea. Gotcha. Okay. So, but. Uh, but yeah, I just some of the stuff they did in this was just really, really good. I think it was better than a lot of the modern fighter pilot stuff I've seen before. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I mean, is there a close second? Practical. Oh, I'm trying to second. think what I'm trying to think of what the close second would be. You know, of, of of this? Cats? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love smart cats. Just like with the real like ships and like the planes really looking like like. Just good shots, not being CGI, not being like, ah, that's CGI. Like, I mean, yeah. it's, it's much different, obviously, but there's some old, like, Howard Hughes movies and stuff where they, they where just they have just those have fucking planes just going out Hundreds like of planes, yeah. <laughs> Super yeah. dangerous, but it doesn't look like this. But just, like, sure. the, 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 the true sense of speed that you can only get by going that fast is... Sure. Like, like it, it's like a magic trick. Like, it doesn't even look real to me, but I know it's real. Yeah. Like, there's some stuff where you can be like, wow, back when... What's his name? Is it Buster Keaton? Where he's like mm-hmm. riding the front of a fucking train, throwing fucking pieces of wood at other mm-hmm. pieces of wood to knock him off the train tracks and yeah. shit. Yeah. Where it's like, well, he's really doing that. That's really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. No, that all that shit <laughs> you <know>? is real. <laughs> but like, like there's definitely like those kind of things where it's like, there's this is real shit, real planes and whatever. But I don't know, just something about this was just yeah. much more and but just crazy. The things those two actors have in common is like Tom Cruise is famous enough, and he has to be executive producer so that he can tell the insurance company he. Uh, He's doing the stunts. Yeah, I'm doing this shit. Whereas Buster Keaton, they didn't give it. They didn't care. They didn't yeah. have shirts. Sure. Sure. You know? no, He's no. just like, I'm gonna throw this stick into that stick, and if I don't, I die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, underneath the train. Oh yeah. man. Yeah, I wonder, like, if we ever get another Tom Cruise who could make this movie. Like, who? Is yeah. there any other actors that are more online with like what Tom Cruise does? It's like crazy <laughs> enough. To want to do it for real. Yeah, I get what you mean. There's, there's that, but there's also the idea that, like, the blockbuster doesn't have the same sway as it used to, right? Because now you have streaming and you have all these other avenues of the celebrity. Sure. So, like, the True. pure the pure movie star is kind of diminished a bit. I get what you mean. Like, there's, there's also visual effects and just movie making in general has gotten cheaper to where mm-hmm. lots of people can do it, right? So... Yeah. There's tons of people that will go as far as they can for their craft, probably. Yeah. But they might not have the money behind them either. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't know who else goes. You just that get those far. subscription services. You have your movie for a little bit, then you take it off. Yeah. So you can write it off. It's a dark. It's a dark world we live in. It's a dark world, but there's some bright spots like Maverick. Maverick. Guys, thank you very much for watching this movie reaction. We do movie reactions every single week. And you can help us choose what we're going to do. This movie was chosen at patreon.com slash blindly. My supporters over there. Go over there. Every other week, we have a new poll. Thank you, supporters. <laughs>